Randy, we've got an accident, Steve. Problem down in the corner, down toward turn number five, and it looks like it's Capolini, oh my the two-time winner of this race, who was looking to come up with a victory and gain some valuable championship points. Capolini down at turn number five, the dreaded turn number five on the north side of this course, where all the action has been this weekend. And Capolini is going to leave Russia with zero points. And he's got to be really the picture of frustration. He has been struggling for so many years now to win that coveted 10th world title. And it seems like the harder he tries, boy, I'll tell you something, the more he spins out and digs himself into a hole. And he's dug himself into a bit of a hole here today. Remember, he led this race from the pole a year ago. He was the pole sitter here in this race. And he led for about 10 seconds before he was finally passed at the start by Jonas Anderson. But Capolini, let's see if go. we can pick it up in the replay. Capolini pushing hard. And as he comes around, oh. And, oh, he gets tagged right there. And he got tied up with one of the back markers as he was going around turn number five. It was going a bit slower than him. And he just hammered the back end. Let's watch this again. Capolini coming up. And sure enough, barrel rolling very quickly. As he ended up uh, touching, uh, looked like one of the, uh, could have been one of the Mad Croc Formula One Woodstock boots. Yeah, you see what had happened there? To be fair, that boat, he backed off a little bit just to let Jonas through on the outside. Um, and Guido probably didn't see that he was decelerating quite so quickly and ran right up his backside on the corner. He could see that there was a gap, a possibility of a gap between this boat and the actual turn boy, Steve, but it wasn't there when he got there.